Get your ticker tape ready and tear up your confetti cause there's gonna be a big parade. She didn't like the fame, but she accepted it because it was what she had to do if she was going to accomplish what she wanted to do, which was to inspire women to get off their duffs and <laughs> do what they wanted to do, you know? She'll be the first girl to do it. to fly around the world. So don't forget who flew it. Have that funding unfurled. When the millionaire heart circles the globe and goes flying home again. May I say one thing? It does not take courage so much to go as it does interest in the task. I believe that women have as much courage as men. The round the world ladybird and her crew, ready for an adventure that nobody has ever tried before. Amelia Earhart, out to circle the Earth at the latitude of the equator, and that's the Earth's greatest circle. On March 17, 1937, Amelia Earhart made her final checks before taking off on her flight around the world. We held our breath when she finally took off from Oakland for Honolulu. A few of us knew she thought this would be her swan song. I have a feeling, she wrote to her husband, that there is just about one more good flight left in my system. I hope this trip is it. When I've finished, I mean to give up long distance stunt flying. If any of our sex can make it, Amelia's the girl. <laughs> The fast ship had been checked for the 27,000-mile flight, and it was on to Honolulu. Things did not go well for Amelia. In Honolulu, she crashed on takeoff. She ground-looped the Electra. It just weighed too much. She was lucky she didn't die. She shipped it back to California in pieces. It was a, a lot of damage. Um, both the engines were destroyed, the propellers, the wings, the gear, the entire undercarriage of the aircraft. And also, it was sitting in a, a big puddle of fuel. She had skidded across the runway in all that fuel because the fuel tanks had broken as well. She had always succeeded in the other flights. And uh, when she cracked up in Honolulu, there was no question. There, anybody else would have said, well, that, that's it. But she uh, said no. She just took plane back to look, California, had it repaired, and went the other way. Lay New Guinea. After being grounded for two days, Amelia was impatient to get going. The Electra stands ready for her longest hop, weighted with gasoline and oil to capacity. Finally, on July 2nd, Amelia felt the weather was as good as it would ever be, and so she took off. Her takeoff at, at Ley was very difficult. It was amazing that she handled the airplane as well as she did and even got off. She went off the edge of the runway, and the plane actually dropped back down. And I believe that she went out of sight. There were witnesses that said that she was no more than 100 feet above the water. She was so heavy. Amelia was flying the biggest challenge of her trip, the longest leg, the heaviest fuel load, heading for a tiny landing spot amid miles and miles of open sea. Howland Island. Amelia's problem really was finding Howland Island, and Howland Island was so small, it's so tiny, tiny, and it um, you know, has no elevation, less than 20 feet of elevation, a half mile wide, two miles long, in the middle of nothing. There, there were not good points at which to be able to judge that she was on track, so she had to use only the celestial navigation. Um, if it was cloudy, then she couldn't do that. The island was not in the right place on the charts. In the early morning, Amelia was bound eastward across the lonely mid-Pacific. Several hours later, she was gone. Amelia's disappearance shocked the world. It was front page news everywhere, and it motivated the largest sea hunt in history. In three weeks, 250,000 square miles of ocean were scanned, but there was no sign of Amelia Earhart. 
People ask me, what do you think happened to Amelia? And my answer is, I don't have an opinion, and it's not important. I don't care what happened to her. It's, it doesn't matter anymore. What we care about and what we should focus on is her accomplishments, the things that she gave to the world. Before she took off, Amelia wrote to her husband, Please know that I am quite aware of the hazards. I want to do it because I want to do it. Women must try as men have tried. When they fail, their failure must be but a challenge to others.